Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new today, thank you for watching. Um, so today I'm back with a quick tutorial on how to make a face mask. I'm actually going to do two very easy face masks. Um, one is going to be like a strip face mask and one is going to be shaped. Both very easy. You can either use a machine to um, stitch them or you can hand stitch them and they'll still be done in like not very long at all, maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to do them. I'm going to tilt my camera down. Um, the only thing is my desk is black. I'm going to be using some black fabric because that's all I had. So I've got black jersey. I've set up my sewing machine using, um, I've put a jersey needle in and I've got black thread in. Like I say though, it's very easy to hand stitch this. So all you need is a circle of material of your choice. Um, and you could use a dinner plate, a small dinner plate or a tea plate. I didn't actually have one of those. So my, all my plates are square, so I just used this mirrored circle, which is about about nine and a half inches. Um, so I've cut out a circle. I'm going to actually I'll put this bit of card down so you can actually see what I'm doing because it's not really showing up on the black desk. So I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold it in quarter and I'm going to cut it. So it's that shape and then I'll end up with two of those. I'll quickly do that whilst I'm talking. I'll end up two of this shape and then I'm going to cut it that way as well. You don't have to be overly precise. Right, so now I've got four bits of fabric. I'll just pick up two together. Oh, these damn nails, I can't even get a hold of it. Right, two that way. So now I've got my four bits of fabric, two on top of one another, and I'm gonna sew the rounded edge on both bits of fabric. Um, and I'll get back to you once I've done that. I've finished sewing those, so I've sewn them around the rounded edge on both of them. I'm now going to tilt the camera down. I've put a bit of orange card down so you can see what I'm doing as I'm working on a black desk, so it'll be really difficult to find out. So now I'm going to actually open it up so that the seam is running down the front. I'm going to lie that down. And I'm going to do the same with this one, but I'm going to have the seam running towards me on this one. And then I'm going to continue to sew the four sides. I'm going to leave a small gap here at this side so I can turn the thing the right way around. So I'll come back to you when I've sewn up the four sides, leaving a small gap. Finished sewing all four sides. As you can see, I've got like a seam on that side and the seam running down that side. So now I need to turn it the right way using the small opening I've got. So I'm going to tilt it down again so you can see on the orange sheet. In fact, I'll do it there. So you just have to carefully just poke it through and turn it the right way. I've only left a really small opening so that I haven't got much to sew because I'm going to sew the last little bit by hand. There you go. At this point you could get the iron out and iron the seams so it's nice and straight. Right, so now it's that shape. So now I want to get rid of these pointy sides. So I'm going to fold it in over on both sides. So just one 
if you can see I'm just going to fold it over once on both sides so I can insert the elastic and the shape is now looking like that so I'm going to quickly fold down one turn there and one turn on the other side I'm going to sew them along and then I'll show you what the next step is I've sewn up both sides turned them in over so there's a little turn so that is the shape and I've cut some elastic this elastic is actually too broad but it's actually all I have at the moment so I'm just going to put it on a safety pin and drag it through push it through and then you can lose the safety pin pull it through I'm just going to put a couple of stitches in that to hold it in place which I shall do now quite fully I should have put a pin in it and then I'll just do a reverse stitch to strengthen it and that should be held in place and then I'll just pull that back around so you can't see the messy edge and it's tucked into the little fold I'm sure it would have been better if I was doing it with a different colour you would have been able to see what I was actually doing black's never easy to show up on camera so there you have it it's kind of nice and neat from the inside you can just see a little seam and from the outside and it fits nice and snugly like I say a small elastic would have been much better and that goes around your ear oh right I probably need to take my earrings out And as you can see, that's nice and tight all the way around. And quite comfortable. And now, just, you can either leave it plain, but maybe me. If I've got to wear a mask, I'm going to put some diamonds on it. So I'm now going to just accessorise it. I've got some fabric glue. So I'm just going to Bling it up a little bit by putting the odd diamante around, just sort of sticking them on randomly. I'll just quickly show you one side. Um, obviously, I will glue these into place properly. Got to have a little bit of bling at this miserable time. Like I say, I will stick those on with proper fabric glue, but there you go. So that is the first one, and now I'm going to show the other one, but I will do that on a, a, like a different video. But as you can see, it takes like literally 10 minutes to make. You don't need a sewing machine. You can do it by hand, um, and it'll keep you safe. So, so yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed my video, please um, give me the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Um, and I'll catch you again next time. Thank you.